Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this time I want to talk about a couple of great nebulae in our summer sky, the Lagoon and Trifid Nebula, some of the brightest near us in the Milky Way galaxy. They're rising now in the evening sky at this time of year. All you need to see the Lagoon Nebula is a dark sky and your naked eye, you can barely see it, pick it up. But of course, if you have binoculars, or better yet, a low-power telescope, they look a whole lot better. Well, the Lagoon Nebula is a star forming region. It spans about 100 light years across. It's about 4,100 light years away. And what this is doing is converting hydrogen gas into a new generation of stars. You can see this glowing grayish green cloud of gas in your telescopic eyepiece, a brilliant star cluster, NGC 6530. And there's a dark band that that goes across the Lagoon Nebula that gives the nebula its name. Just north of the Lagoon, in the same low power field of most telescopes, you'll see the Trifid Nebula. This is so named because it has three little dark bands that go across its face of the brightest part of the Trifid. It also lies at about the same distance that make it the Trifid Nebula. Also cool is that just north of the main bright part of the Trifid is a bluish area circular nebulosity. That's reflection nebulosity, simply glowing by the light from stars embedded within it. So this is how you can go out, get away from city lights, choose a moonless night if you can, take a low power telescope or your binoculars, and you can see star formation in action nearby us in the Milky Way galaxy. I'll see you next time.